Hello, hello, welcome, welcome today to our live with a master trainer, Linda Leclerc. Welcome, Linda. Thank you for being here today with us uh, to share your experience. And you are very, very welcome. Um, introduce yourself so people can know you better. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for, for having me here with you today. It's a real pleasure, Saha, sister. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, I live in Canada, right next to Ottawa, which is uh, the capital. Uh, it's in the province of Quebec, so uh, beautiful Quebec. I invite you all to come and visit us once this situation is over. <laughs> very good. <laughs> And uh, um, yeah, well, before I discovered laughter yoga, I was a very busy and stressed out and serious uh, grown up. Um, I was a manager for about 350 people. So lots of people were working under my supervision. And wow. uh, yeah, so my past is uh, talent, talent. Big talent. Very serious uh, corporate, um, and I also worked as a fundraiser. And I, I like to say that now I'm a fundraiser <laughs> instead of fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're, we're going to be glad when the situation is over for everybody. Oh dear, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, when did you start with laughter yoga? It's way back when I started laughter yoga in 2003 springtime. Actually, it's going to be 18 years this year. Very like next month, actually. Next year. Years. Year wow. of really yeah, it's been, I'm probably one of the old timers now because uh, I don't know many. Well, a few. I have a few friends who started about the same time. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, uh, 2001, 2002. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, 2002, yes, mostly European people. Uh, yeah. I started in 2003 also, so it's like we have similar um, um, date of starting laughter yoga. So, um, yeah, so I did my leader training. I had a car accident, so that's why I, I found out about laughter yoga. Ah. And because of that car accident, I ended up going to a physiotherapist for months and months and months and i was going there twice a week and uh, or sometimes thri three times a week and um one day that i was really i was in pain and i was not having fun at all and things were not good uh i didn't want people to see me crying in the waiting room so i grabbed the magazine next to me and first thing that i saw when i opened my eyes because the magazine was hiding my face. So the first thing I saw was a, a picture of a beautiful blonde woman, uh, and she had a big wood spoon in one hand and a rubber duck in the other one, and she was <laughs> like this. And the title of the article was Laugh It Off. So I thought, this is a sign, this is a message, darling, you're taking things way too seriously. I yeah. used to laugh a lot, and now I was just laughing like <laughs> kind of polite laughter. And and I felt like something really important had disappeared from my life, and I didn't even notice when it happened. So that day, I remember thinking, I have to do something about that. And the article was describing a laughter yoga session. I remember clearly, vividly thinking, what have they come up with now? Laughter yoga. This doesn't make sense. Like I was hearing from Bikram yoga and hot yoga, and then laughter yoga. This was what 
What, um, what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not true. Just to make you wait. <laughs> at the beginning, at the beginning. Now it is spread all over the world, but at the beginning... Oh, even now, think about it. People. Even now, I'm asking, like, people are asking me, I've never heard of laughter yoga. What is that? And it's like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what planet are you on? But even then, like, it's okay. They, they, I yeah, know it's okay. okay. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. Yeah, so I did my leader training. I started a, a laughter club that year. Uh, so my leader training was in the spring. I started a laughter club. And in 2005, uh, Madame Kataria was starting uh, to train teachers because before 2005, he was traveling the world training leaders. And yes. he was traveling a lot for a two day training. So he thought, well, let's train teachers instead. And because I was actively practicing. I was running a laughter club uh, on a weekly basis. I was hired to deliver programs um, in my community here. So with seniors, with uh, corporate, with teams at work. Um, so I thought, okay, so let's take this. Um, and I became a teacher. It was the first group of teachers, actually. He trained one in India, and the second one he trained here in Canada, and I was one of the first, uh, the first teachers to person to become a teacher. Um, yeah, so, and um, what I've discovered is that over the years, um, after running a weekly laughter club, this was helping me to stay more positive, to have a better attitude towards everything that life was sending me. Because a few months after I started to run the Lefty Club, I lost my job. And uh, I was very, I was devastated for a while. Like I was just, uh, and having to go to my Lefty Club, seriously, it helped me, it kept, it kept me sane. Because I was able to laugh at things instead of just cry on myself. Mm -hmm. So when I became a teacher, then I started to train leaders and uh, I was getting more and more, uh, I was getting hired more and more to deliver programs. And in 2010, um, I remember that uh, I was collaborating with, I was working closely with Madame and with Sebastien, who was his person then mm -hmm. and uh, I was helping a lot with translating things and just making a fine tuning on some for, things yes, for his website and for books and manuals and I remember that Madame started to think like okay so I'm going to he had this idea of creating a university in Bangalore so for that he said I'm going to travel less and some of you guys are going to train teachers. So there were four of us, Laura Gentry, Jeffrey Breyer, Sebastien uh, Gentry, and myself. Uh, yes. So four of us became master trainers and we finished our trainings, I think by the end of 2010, uh, because what, back then I've already had trained about 400 leaders here and uh, yes. a lot lots and lots of volunteer hours um, that I... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, just running a weekly laughter club is something that... So I already I have 50 so years. 50 so That's a lot. And in 2010, no, 11, um, I was talking, no, in 10, actually, I was talking to my colleague uh, in France, Corinne Cosseron, and we were just exchanging. And I said, well, I've got this, I've got to save some time because I've had this idea to write a book and it's been like here for years and I need to save some time for that. She says, oh, yes, me too. And on what? I said, well, on laughter yoga. She said, yes, me too. So we looked at each other and decided, how about we just get together and write this together? And surely enough, that's what we did. Yes, Beautiful. Congratulations. The book is it's yes. very nice. It's very a beautiful nice. book with lots of oops, very lots nice. of questions. Yes, with Corinne. Yes. Corinne has Last a very week. good energy yes. to... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I follow her. I follow her in Facebook and yeah. for a long, long time. Yes. So Jeez. we have different ways of practicing, of teaching, but in the end, 
both of us were saying that because of the other person, the book is even more, it's even better because of the yeah. other person. And uh, yes, I agree with her. So since then, I've created an app for your phone. It's called Let's Let's Laugh in English, and it's a laughter yoga exercise laughter uh, app for iPhones and iPads. Uh, I have it in French. I've created numerous audios. Uh, I have CDs that I I've produced and I created. I have a, a podcast <laughs> called <laughs> Elements in English, the Lille Marjoie en Français. And uh, like yeah, and I have two uh, self coaching programs on joy, two others on my website. So it's like a fountain of ideas. Yes, I, yes. Right now I'm creating something. You new. feel you feel a lot of creativity. That's Don't because we laugh. That. Huh? That's because we laugh. I think that if yes. I do this, I'd probably yes, be yes, it. Yes. Of course. And with the pandemic, we've started, well, um, Corinne started something in French, Ju not Julien, uh, Fabrice started something in France, and I started something here, it's called Urgence Rire, so emergency laughter. So I have leaders and teachers who are there, and they are offering between 10 and 15 minute sessions, like numerous times every day, six days a week, and it's for free. So okay. I'm very, very proud of everything. If I look yes, back, yes, yes, very, very yes. proud of everything that I've created. Of course, Linda, of course. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. It's very good to have, you know, a, people really, really involved with this important, a, you know, situation with this yeah. to love. You know, it's, yeah. it's very important. And, yeah. and to get involved in, in, in a funny way, but even in a serious way. Yeah, which is the message uh, we want all uh, transmit that it's and share that it's very important yeah. uh, this kind of energy in this moment we need yeah. really yeah. really to love yes and tell me what do you think uh, uh, did laughter yoga change more in your personality or in your mood? or in your day by day, what do you think is the magic uh, you uh, find in laughter yoga? I think that it's helping me to put things in a different perspective, to laugh at things more easily instead of focusing on the negative of things. I'm not saying that I never go to the negative side of things. I do. I just don't stay there. So I allow myself the pleasure of experiencing all the emotions, sadness, uh, frustration, anger, uh, whatever. I enjoy, I enjoy everything, but I know that because I love more, um, I'm going to be able to switch this to something more, um, I was going to say productive, but more in, in something that's going to help me. Yes. There's always a way I'm to say the situation is not going to change, but if I change my reaction, then it might not be as difficult to go through the situation. And I have to say that I also created a, a community of women. Well, it's I founded it. So it's it's a community of women laughing intentionally, and it's called the Haha -ha Sisterhood. There. You see this beautiful, uh, where is it? Where is it? There. You see this beautiful quilt? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this, this is the quilt that I made with a dear friend of mine, and uh, this was for our, our gatherings because when women laugh, something magical and very important happens. We're changing the world with positive vibes, and we're there to support each other. Yes, fantastic! So let's laugh together, Linda. Let's do with you, uh, and thank you very much who is uh, watching our sharing with Linda here today. Thank you very much for, for being uh, present. If you're not here now, thank you for seeing later. So, Linda, let's laugh together, please, who is watching. 
practice with us. <laughs> <laughs> we are all yours. <laughs> oh, so uh, I've came up with a few exercises lately. I don't sleep so well. So, uh, and uh, one morning I thought there's so many things that are keeping me awake at night. So how about I create exercise on that? So let's do the cat purring near your face at four in the morning. So we're going to stretch your, your hands like this. You know what they do? Like they're just purr. But we're not going to purr, we're going to laugh. So. <laughs> and then you can do the hot flash laughter. So what? <laughs> After having a flash, normally we're cold, so <laughs> <laughs> and let me do something for you because I do appreciate you and what you're bringing to the world. So appreciation, laughter. This is my favorite. <laughs> 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 thank you, Linda. Thank you, thank, thank you, you very so much. Nice. Thank you for being here with us today and sharing your beautiful experience. Congratulations for all your work, beautiful work you are developing. And uh, we are in contact, okay? And see you soon, okay? Oh, thank you very you. much. You are very welcome. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. See thank you, you next week. Okay, at 7 p.m. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. You'll be well. You take care.